Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to present about the ways I'm going to solve the task given by me from the course Digital Electronics 2 regarding to the topic Arithmetic Logic Unit, KLU. So the task given by me is this. I will need to design a 1-bit ALU that performs 5 different operations as described in the table. And this ALU can only have one inverter. And also the input and the output of this ALU has been mentioned in the task. Alright, so first I will start from looking at the input and the output of the table. And I found that there are 4 different operations and only one output will be coming out from this ALU. And we will need extra input S0 and S1 uh, to select which operation we are going to take and uh, take one of the result from the uh, operation. So in this case, we are going to use the one, 4 to 1 multiplexer. And because we are using uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer, we will have two input pins, which is uh, the S1 and S0. So the truth table regarding the uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer is shown here right so uh, each operation will be assigned to a certain uh, signal of S0 and S1 and so we start to design the ALU by drawing something like this so this is our 4 to 1 multiplexer next the second step will be looking into the operation 0 which output a high signal when the uh, input signal of A is equal to B. So we analyzed this uh, Boolean expression and found that the A equal to B is actually something like an XNOR gate. So we will add one XNOR gate by taking the input of A and B and goes into the I0 of the fourth multiplexer. Next, for the operation 1, which is the next operation, the output will be high for the Boolean expression of uh, A bar and B bar which is shown from the table and we found that the truth table is same as a NOR gate which only uh, takes the z A equal to 0 and B equal to 0 we only have the output as 1 so we add another NOR gate to the uh, I1 of the 4 to 1 multiplexer and connect it like sh as shown in the figure Next, the next operation two is to output a high signal for a brilliant expression A bar or B bar, which uh, the O the O operation will be represented by the plus uh, sign, and the truth table we found out is something uh, as simple as the uh, NAND gate. So we add one more NAND gate and get the output of the NAND gate to into the I two uh, to the four to one multiplexer. To obtain the, either the real or complement of B to uh, operate the addition, we need to have a 2 to 1 multiplexer to choose whether to invert the uh, input B signals and uh, using the uh, inverter here. So with the inverter connected to the 2 to 1 multiplexer, it will be a something connection like this. And we will have an extra B invert to choose whether we need to invert the in, uh, signal of B input. So this will be the simulation circuit that is built to uh, test the functionality of the circuit as I designed just now. So we are starting by the operation 0, we set the S0 and S1 to equal to 0. And as you guys can see, the operation 1 is following the, uh, the input of the 
A and B and the output is the same as the operation 1 as shown here. So uh, that the signal is found to be same as the truth table shown by the XLOR gate. So it is verified to be correct. Next one will be operation 1. And uh, we set the S0 to 1. And uh, the output is followed just as same as the uh, truth table of the NOR gate, which is correct. And we found that the operation 2 connected to the uh, input pin of the 4 to 1 multiplexer is same as the output pin. Alright, the uh, next operation, operation 2, we will set the, only the S1 to be 1 and uh, set back the S0 to 0 and to test out the NAND gate here. And we found that the output is just same as the truth table here. Alright. For the operation 3 with the B invert to equal to 0, which we don't want to invert the input signal B, we will have the uh, output signal that is same as the uh, addition operation, which will only output 1 when there is uh, only one uh, input is 1 and the other is 0. So uh, the output signal is verified to be correct. Alright, the last one, we invert the input signal B and then we test out all the four uh, inputs uh, cases and we found that the output is verified to be correct. Okay, so that's all for my presentation. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day. See you next time. Bye.